What's up everybody, I'm Derek, this is Rocking eForge, and today I'm going to continue my series of giving you beginner projects that will help develop your hammer skill and your fundamentals in blacksmithing. Today, I'm going to show you how to forge a bottle opener. Now, I already have a video posted on how to forge my keychain bottle openers, and I would consider those kind of a hook style bottle opener. In this video, I'm going to show you the other style, the more traditional style of bottle openers that have the loop going over the cap and the tab lifting up underneath the tab, the cap, to open the bottle. Bottle openers are great sellers at places like craft fairs and farmers markets, and they give you great practice in punching holes and working with the horn, which make them great beginner projects. So let's fire up the forge, and if you make this style of bottle opener, please drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. All right, so I'm gonna use this piece of half inch by one quarter inch piece of flat stock. It's precisely four inches long. You do not need to use this exact piece of steel. Use whatever you can. Flattening it down and punching a hole is really the fundamental that you're trying to build here. So I'm gonna toss this in the fire, and we're gonna start this off with the actual bottle opener portion. So I'm gonna start this off with my ball end punch. Here. All right, now that I've got the hole started, I'm going to switch to my regular punch, flat tip, round punch. I'm going to cool this off every blow or two. Yeah, so you can see on the back side of that, there's a shiny spot. That's the spot that you need to back punch in order to accurately punch the plug out. I'm going to take this back to an orange heat. Just want to make sure that everything is compressed to get the cleanest possible hole punched out of here. Now that it's cooled down to just under a black heat, I'm going to flip it over, make sure it's flat. And then I'm going to start back punching here. Make sure you're trying to get, you're getting as close to the center of that shiny spot as you can, and that's it. Now you can see this plug, that just popped right out. Usually I would take that to the pritchel hole and back punch that over the pritchel hole to make sure that plug shears out, but I sheared it without even going to the hole this time, and that, that happens on occasion. So that's the goal, is you're trying to get as clean of a hole as possible. Letting that cool down to a black heat before you back punch is going to give you the nicest, cleanest hole. Now the goal is going to be to drift this hole wider so that we can fit it over the horn of the anvil. And this is a homemade drift I made, so if you're interested in seeing how that how that works, oh, let me know in the comments. Now when you come in with this drift, you may need to take a few heats to widen that out. Do not cool the drift off. The drift is not a punch, it's not meant to be hardened. And the hotter it is, when you insert it into the hole, the longer the steel stays hot, and the wider you can drift that hole. Now something you might not notice is that I'm turning this over each time I bring it back to the anvil, and that's because no matter how rounded off your pritchel hole is, you're gonna get kind of a ring around the outside, and I'm kind of evening that out and making sure that as I bring it back, I'm not putting extra divots or dents into the same side. Now, if you're interested in learning how to forge this round drift, or my round punch or ball in punch, drop a comment down below. Now that that hole is punched and drifted wide enough to fit over the tip of my horn, I'm gonna take it to the horn and I'm gonna start rounding this up, eliminating those square corners, and really turning this into an actual bottle opener. We're gonna bring this to the horn and we're just gonna start forging in those corners. And then forging down to increase the size of that circle. Now the first key here is to just find the spots that are wider and even those out. That will thin down the material of the ring and force that ring to grow as you spread the steel around the horn. Okay. 
Make sure you're taking it to the flat face of the anvil also on occasion to even everything out. Because as you spread the steel, it's going to uh, widen a little bit. Hammer down on the, on the corners lightly so that you don't wrap the thing in half. And then flip it over and do the same thing on this side. And this is going to do two things for you. One, it's going to continue spreading the steel so the loop, so the loop gets bigger. And two, I don't know if you can tell yet, it's going to turn that loop into more of an octagon and I think that looks better. Once you've got the ring kind of forged out and, and evened up as best you can, you may notice that's only about seven eighths of an inch in diameter. Now this may not seem big enough to you to fit over a standard bottle cap and you'd probably be right. However, the next step in forging these bottle openers is to punch in the tab using your ball end punch and that's going to spread this steel a lot more. All right, so part of the fun challenge of this is not not punching too far back that you don't actually have a tab, but not punching so far forward that you end up slipping off the steel itself and punching, unlike what I just did, in the center. Now, you may have noticed that when I punched the first time, I was way off center, and to compensate for that, I angled the punch in the direction I wanted the hole to end up going and punched at that angle and that helped shift that over. All right, so that should be pretty good. I'm just gonna make sure to flatten that tab just a little bit closer to the edge. As I've learned in my experience, if this tab is a little too thick, you're gonna have a hard time getting under the edge of the bottle. Now the next step we're gonna do is gonna help with that a little bit. We're gonna curve the ring just a little bit over, over the horn, away from the tab so that you get a little more clearance between the ring and the tab. So wraps and hooks over the bottle cap. Next step I'm gonna take is forging the handle into some sort of decorative shape. I've done leaves, I've done twists, I've left it just like this, but I have something that has been bouncing around in my head for a while, which is going to take this same concept and turn it into the handle. But feel free at this point to do whatever you want with the handle. All right, so I'm gonna do very similar to what we did with the opener, but I'm gonna use a slot punch this time. We're gonna just drift this using a, a small hammer I drift that I made. And that should be plenty wide enough to get that over the horn. I had quite a, a rag uh, or a, a sharp, thin piece of steel that resulted from the punching that is going to become a cold shut and develop a crack if I keep forging it into the piece. So I'm just gonna take my half round file. I'm gonna go in here now that the hole's wide enough. <clears throat> and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna file that out. I've got to play with the way this is shaping a little bit. Okay, so this is kind of what I'm going for, but it's a little twisted and not quite as nice looking as I was hoping. So I'm gonna have to play around with it quite a bit. I'm gonna probably be using that, that hammer I drift a lot. So stay tuned. I'm not gonna make you watch all of my fiddling because uh, that would be awful. It didn't take too awful long. I'm just gonna 
give it a nice little curve. Now that's gonna do it for today's project. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, leave a comment, hit subscribe, ring that notification bell. If you wanna support me or the channel further, please consider becoming an honorary striker on my Patreon. Link is in the description below the video, and keep on rocking.